Okay, my name's Phil Fast, and today we're going to do a video on drywall 101 for the homeowner that wants to be adventurous but don't want to have somebody else come in their home and do this. So, first of all, we'll look at the wall. We hung half inch drywall, screwed it two, two, two at the seams at the mud bed. This is called the mud bed because it, it dips in. So now I'm going to show you how to properly mud this, coat one, two, and three. And I'm doing this video for two reasons. I love to help people, and I've been doing this 34 years. I've got a lot of knowledge. I don't know everything, but I can help the homeowner. And number two, everybody tells me how they watch videos and stuff. I just want to see how many people watch this video and like it. So we'll begin by... First of all, we will take and you get your drywall mud, put water in it, and you get a, a mixer bit in your drill and thin it down because it's too thick, it gets lumpy, and it's just not good. So you thin it down. The first thing you do is you fill your mud bed, which is that part at the side of the drywall. And you want to put, make sure you fill that whole bed in with no air gaps or anything in it because it'll put bubbles behind your tape and then you'll have to cut that out later to refill it again. So, we will fill this like so. And this is actually a real job that I'm on. I'm uh, remodeling this basement for these people. And uh, I just thought I'd do a video. Now you want to take your, your tape and your tape actually has a seam in it. So if you want to do corners, it bends, but if not, I always put the uh, seam at the back, put it right over the crack, and the reason why you put tape over it is to cover up the crack, and also it helps that crack from cracking out later. So then, you want to take your six inch drywall knife, that's what you start with. You want to come over this tape. You don't want to squeeze all the mud out from behind, but you want to squeeze it out so it goes down. And I'll show you why you want to get it down some. Make sure you've got plenty of mud behind it. Then, kind of look and make sure you don't got no air gaps or nothing on the edges of your tape. If you don't, then you take and Cover the tape up. I always go too wide because that makes the mud easier. And when you do this, you put mud over it like that. Always run one over the center to try and get it. It don't got to be perfect, the first coat. Then you take one at the edge and you put pressure on this outside edge so it's built up a little bit in the middle. You pull it out. Not a whole lot of pressure, just enough then it leaves a little bit over tape because you want your tape to be covered the first time. So then you put some more mud on. And you pull it out. And then you put pressure on the outside. See how my my tape is covered. Okay, you see what about these holes here? Now you go one direction and pull it back the other. Take almost all of it off. You don't want to leave it off. Anything you leave on there, you got sand. And believe me, sand and drywall with thick mud is not fun. And you should always wear a mask when you're sanding. So there, that's that's the first stage. Now I want you to come in this room where I got the second run of mud. One. Okay, now you saw me apply the first run of mud. Now this is what it looks like after it's dry. So now we're going to apply the second run. And we use a 12 inch knife instead of six. What you do is you thin mud and you kind of wipe your corners off like this so the mud don't run out everywhere. 
And what you want to do is your vertical seams first. Run one side. Then you run the other side. And you see how it kind of gets spots sometimes, so you want to make sure you get those filled up because as you get closer to the third run of mud, you want it almost perfect. That way you don't got to sand so much, which sand is terrible. So that's what your second coat will look like. And then you'll come back and you'll hit the nail heads. Again, like I said, don't leave a lot on because you got to sand it off. Okay, now I'm going to show you what the third coat looks like over here on this wall right here. Now, I ran this earlier. This here's what your third coat looks like while it's wet. A little bit of sanding and you're ready to paint this. Same way with the ceiling. This right here is the second coat on it. Now I'm going to show you what you do on the third coat. You're just trying to finish out the edges so you don't have so much sand. Because believe me, the sanding part is not the fun. So, my edges are virtually completely smooth. You know, you almost can you tell there's a joint there. Now, we're going to go to the next room and I'm going to show you what the third coat looks like dry. Okay, now, this is what the third coat looks like dry. You're ready to sand, prime your walls. If you need to touch up, you can touch up your drywall. But I didn't show you how to do the corners. I had all, already had all my corners done by the time I decided I wanted to do this video. So what you do when you're doing corners is you take and put mud on one edge of your knife and you go down one side and put plenty of mud then you put mud on the other side go down and put plenty of mud now this here after you pull out your two corners you have mud one of them you can do one side and that way all i had to do now just come back and do my second side, and my corner's done. So it's, the corners are more or less like a, a two-step process in step three. And then that way, when you uh, prime your walls, you can come back and look. And uh, if you need to, you can touch up your corners. And this as soon as I get this corner ran out okay now and when you do this you get a little mud on the other side don't worry about it because you can touch that up or you can sand it off a little bit but and when you get done clean up your tools very good in warm water with a rag your pan your knives and clean up after yourself because it's easier to do it while it's wet than when it gets hard but like I said, the whole reason I'm doing this video is I want to help homeowners that don't want to hire people. And number two, I just want to see how many likes I can get on this or, or people watching it. So again, my name is Phil Fast. I'm the owner of Millennium Builders. And you look and let me know how you like my video. Thank you.